Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can create a new database on XAMPP. So we installed XAMPP. You can see the control panel here. So to work with database, you need to start the MySQL here by clicking start. We did it on the XAMPP control panel. To reach XAMPP control panel, go to start, type XAMPP control panel. After installing XAMPP, here you can see we just clicked on open and the same is visible here. We started the server and MySQL database. Now to create a new database, go to browser, type localhost first, press enter. You can see on typing localhost, phpMyAdmin is visible, click on it. You can straight away click on localhost slash phpMyAdmin, here you can see, to open phpMyAdmin. So herein you can see all the databases are visible, the default databases on phpMyAdmin are visible here. We want to create a new database. So what we'll do guys, we will just click on new. Now add the database name. I'll mention, let's say the database name is AmitDB. Click on create. On clicking create, you can see AmitDB database is visible. When you'll click on it, nothing will be visible because we haven't added any table or column right now. So you can create a new table, let's say employee table. Columns, let's say we want three and go. This will create a new table. We can add fields here. Let's say I'll add EMP ID. Type, I'll keep it as int only. Length values, keep the default. Herein, you can add constants if you want. I'll keep it as, give it as primary key. Next, let's keep it as employee name, EMP name. I'll give it as text rest keep as it is it's fine uh, next i'll add emp age this will be in int only in int only that's it rest keep the same and i'll just click on save here herein you can see we created our first table employee with the with the columns employee id employee name age here it is. You can change it from here. You can drop it from here. And, and when I'll go to AmitDB, you can see we have our employee table here. Click on it. You can see you can edit it from here by clicking edit. So guys, so now we have our AmitDB database. If you want to export the database, click on export. Here it is. You can straight away select the format. And let's say my format I want to export is SQL. I'll I select SQL here and click on go. On clicking, clicking go, it will download amidb.sql. This is our database. If you want to import a new database, you can select the file from here. The file format should be in SQL and in compressed form. The same is visible here. You need to compress your database first and you need to just import it here by clicking choose file. After that, you need to just click on go here. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can create a new database in XAMPP. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.